Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Guess what? It's paper mache time. That's right, we're going to be learning about paper mache today. So, in case you're not familiar, let me explain what paper mache is. Paper mache is a sculpture made primarily out of paper. And so you have to build some kind of a base first. Usually out of uh, newspaper, wadded up newspaper and tape, or some cardboard uh, works really great for a lot of projects. And that's called an armature. The base is called an armature. So there's your art word for the day. Armature. So you make your armature first. Then you have to get some uh, liquid glue. And there are some recipes I know online where you can make your own glue. I make mine from a powder that I, that I get from my art supply stores. Um, and you just mix in some water and let it sit for about a week. Um, and you have to soak the paper strips. You can use uh, newspaper or just white paper. But you let... You have to get it really wet, and then you squeeze the extra back in the tub, and then you place it on there, and it'll be soaked with this liquid glue, and so it sticks. And basically, the, this becomes like the uh, skin that you put on your armature, and when it dries, it's hard enough to paint. I know from experience, though, that if you do your whole armature, sorry, you do your, all of your strips uh, with newsprint, it's really hard to paint over that, so it's not visible anymore. So in class, we're going to do our first couple layers with newsprint, and then we're going to layer on top of that with some uh, cut white paper. So it's easier to uh, color. And, uh, oh, hey, look, it's my uh, friend uh, Blarglon. Hey, Blarglon, what's up? Yeah, I was just making a video. Well, yeah, I'm telling him about paper mache. So uh, you can't hear him because he speaks tel uh, telepathically, and that doesn't really work on video. So um, anyway, he's just real excited because paper mache is his favorite uh art uh, to make. So, um, did I forget anything? We're we ready? Alright, so um, he says now it's time to move on and to show you how we're going to make our armature and what we're going to be making with paper mache today. And uh, let's get to it. So we are going to be making a hot air balloon out of paper mache. Here's what we need to do. Uh, number one, if you're in my class, um, there's going to be some tape at your table. Please Write your name on that, on a strip of tape, and put that to the side. Because the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put that on top of our balloon so I know who every, whose uh, balloon that each one is. And uh, you're going to need a balloon, which uh, we'll be blowing those up in class. You're going to need some glue. I've got enough glue for uh, every two people to share. And you're going to need some paper strips. So we're going to dip the paper strips in the glue. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to put it on the balloon, and we're going to cover our balloon with layers of paper strips. The more layers, the stronger it will be. Um, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. We just we don't need to cover up the bottom, but everything from like here up will be paper mache. So let's do that right now. All right. So each strip of paper needs to be soaked in the paper mache glue, and then put on the balloon. Um, but it's very gloopy glue, so. Uh, let me show you how we're going to do that. You're going to drop it in, get both sides nice and wet. Uh, so this this has way too much glue on it. So you're going to use your fingers like scissors. You're going to go to the top of it, the uh, paper, and pinch it and drag the paper down through your fingers. And look at all that extra glue coming off. This glue takes about a week for me to make a batch. So if we could not waste it, I would really appreciate it. Then you're going to just lay it flat on your balloon like that. So we're going to keep doing that. We're going to cover the whole thing with multiple layers of paper mache paper and glue. Um, and then we'll talk about where to go to next. All right, so I've got one layer of uh, newspaper paper mache all over my balloon, all the way to up the very bottom. And just the little bottom part showing. Um, also, you see my name on there, so I know that this is mine. Um, you probably noticed on the video, maybe not, 
that um, after the first several pieces of paper, I stopped doing the scissor thing with the glue because once your balloon and your fingers are so covered with glue, you can really start to just, because uh, your hands will be wet, you can just kind of tap a uh, piece of newspaper with your finger and it'll stick to your finger and you put it on your, on your balloon and just rub it in. And as long as everything is nice and soaked in glue, um, you don't have to do the scissor thing, but every now and then, uh, it's good to go back and, and do that again because you need it, you really need it to be soaked so it uh, stays down flat. All right, so that's layer one. Layer two, we're gonna do with white paper. Um, and uh, once that dries, then we'll be able to paint it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so um, I have put a layer of newspaper paper mache on my balloon and then I went on top of that with some white paper that way um, it will be easier to uh, paint after it's dry. Now before it's completely dry we need to do one more thing. We want to be able to show off our hot air balloons and to do that we need a hook to hang them up from the ceiling. So um, in class I'm going to hand out some uh, paper clips. You're going to take the, see how there's two loops here? You're going to take the bottom loop and just pull it out like this so it makes like an L shape. And then I'm going to put it on top like this. And I'm going to put paper mache on top of the uh, paper clip. That way when it dries it will hold it and then I'll be able to hang it up like this uh, with the string from the ceiling and this will be super awesome. So I'm going to do that real quick and then um, I'm going to let this dry and then we'll talk about how to paint it and then eventually talk about how to make a basket to go underneath it. It's going to be so cool. So I'm taking this out as I'm going. Um, it's going to help a lot if you get a little bit of masking tape and tape your hook in place before you start adding paper mache. See that? Now that won't be enough to hold it up, uh, you know, from the ceiling, but once I put some layers of paper mache on top of that tape, it should be just fine. So I'm going to do that now, time lapse, and next up will be painting. Alright, so my paper mache balloon is ready to paint. I put three layers on here. It's completely dry. So next we need to pop the balloon and take that out. And um, then I'm going to draw lines, vertical lines from starting at the top. I'm going all the way down to the bottom, all the way around. And then I can decide how I want to paint my pattern on. So let's go ahead. Um, I've got an X-Acto knife. Um, in class we'll have some... Um, some scissors you can use. I'm going to pop my balloon. Oh, interesting. Do you hear that? It's peeling away from the inside of the... Uh... <laughs> there it goes. Okay, well, it's in there. Maybe it'll come out later. <laughs> if you can't tell, this is the first time I've done this project. That was really interesting. All right, let's do the uh, pencil line. Hot air balloons usually aren't just one color. Usually it's some kind of a pattern of colors. So let's look at a few pictures of different balloons. So this one has some stripes, but it, look, it's a pattern. This pattern repeats down here, 
It's got a big uh, kind of orange yellow in the middle. This one has like a checker pattern. This one has stripes. This one has stripes with a rectangle in the middle of every other um, vertical stripe. Vertical is up and down. So lots of different kinds of ways to make patterns. Um, one thing I'm going to do on mine is, do you see how they have these lines that go up and down? I'm going to draw those with a pencil and then use that to help me uh, do my pattern like I want it. I really like this one and this one, this one, this one, and this rainbow one here. I like how the pattern kind of goes up and it looks kind of blocky. I want to do something like that personally, but you can, uh, of course, make whatever pattern you want. This one has some really cool zigzag patterns. I love that. Um, this one has some big shapes. You could do that. But uh, we want it to be very colorful and somehow include a pattern. All right, so the painting is done. The last thing left to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie marker, although you could do this with black paint as well if you're really good with painting lines, but I think a black Sharpie would be easier. I'm going to draw the vertical lines to separate the sections of my balloon, and that'll be it for this part of the project. So check it out, it's my finished hot air balloon. Now we do still have to work on a basket and hang the basket underneath this. Um, I'm planning on us doing an origami box made out of folded paper and then we can decorate that uh, box and then hang that underneath. So that's my plan, but that's gonna be uh, a different video. In fact, there's a video on YouTube, it's very good. And I would just suggest looking that up if you wanna do that, because that's what we're gonna be doing in class. And we're going to be connecting it with string and then hopefully hanging them down the hallways in the school. It's going to be so beautiful. But I love this. I think it turned out so good. And I hope that your balloons look amazing as well. I will see you guys next time in the art room.